Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Obsnow, but call me, and yeah. So, um, if you guys hear background noises like a heater, yeah, that's my heater. Uh, it's really cold here, especially with that winter storm that hit us. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so the first news we got is Amazon might have just revealed a new Splinter Cell. And I hope this is true, because uh, it's been a long time we haven't had a new Splinter Cell game. So someone noticed in Amazon Canada that there was a listing for Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell 2018. Now, this seems a little bit more legit because... On the bottom of that title, it says by Ubisoft, so Ubisoft made this. And if you go to item model number, it says E3 Tom Clancy Splinter Cell 2018 PC. And that is telling us they might be revealing this on E3. Now this would have been a great surprise on E3, but it, it kind of ruined it. Hopefully Ubisoft doesn't say, fuck you guys, you revealed this shit, we were supposed to surprise you on E3, now we have nothing, fuck you, we're delaying this shit. So yeah, I hope they don't do that. Um, but... I really hope this news is true because it's it's been a long time we haven't had a new Splinter Cell game. And I think it's time. We know Ubisoft loves releasing stealth games. Uh, they already did Ghost Recon, Assassin's Creed, and Watch Dogs. So I think Splinter Cell might be next. And how Ubisoft treats their games nowadays by not releasing the, releasing the same franchise games annually. I would like to see what they could do with Splinter Cell. And just how they did with Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six Siege. Will they keep supporting these games after the first year? You know, giving it new updates, uh, more DLCs, you know? Alright, so the second story. Now, this story is about me. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm demonetized. Yup. So yeah, all my videos are demonetized. And this is not even the yellow dollar sign. This is actually the gray. Like, I'm not making any money. Not even, like, one cent out of 1,000 viewers. So yeah, for right now, I'm scared and I, I'm, I'm panicking, kind of. But I, I'll probably figure this out maybe by next week or something. I don't know. YouTube always fucks up. Or maybe this is a sign of YouTube trying to kick me the fuck out. Might start a Patreon anyway. Nah, actually, that's a stupid idea. I don't even have people who are fans of me, so... Alright, so the third story, uh, this is from Valve, and they've said, we're making and shipping games again. So what that basically means is, oh, Gabe Newell finally learned how to count to three. So yeah, Valve's back to making games again. Now this is exciting news, because two of my favorite games were Left 4 Dead and the Portal series, when I was a kid, and, you know, by the time I think I turned 18, I started loving, um, Counter-Strike Go. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be saying, oh, can, uh, you guys are making games again? Uh, how about, how about that Half-Life 3, you know, we've been waiting for years. Now, for me, um, I wasn't really a big fan of Half-Life, you know. Now, here's the thing. Will Valve create new IPs, or will they continue their franchises? You know, like Half-Life 3, Portal 3, Left 4 Dead 3, Team Fortress 3. You, you, you notice there's a lot of 3s because they don't really count to 3. That was the joke. But yeah, either way, they're back at creating games. So, that's the exciting part. Now, hopefully, they're talking about those type of games, not... Oh, we're gonna make another Dota, or we're gonna make a card game. Remember that? Where they just announced a new game coming out 2018, they showed you guys the trailer, and at the end is like, Oh, a card game! And everybody's just booed, and it's like, Oh, fuck you, Valve! <laughs> Alright, so the last thing I want to talk about is give you guys my small impressions of Rainbow Six Siege's new operation. Now, to let you guys know, I bought Rainbow Six Siege the Complete Edition, so I've never bought DLC characters. But holy shit, have you guys seen the prices for the new operators? That shit cost $25,000! I'm not gonna grind that much to unlock one character when there's two of them. So yeah, please, viewers, tell me in the comments below this isn't a regular price. Please tell me in the comments below because, you know, well, either way, I'm gonna buy the season pass because fuck that, I'm not gonna grind that much to unlock those two characters. That's gonna cost a lot. I want I wanna spend all my money on just cosmetic stuffs. So yeah, I haven't tried the new characters, but they seem cool. So with the new characters for the new operation, it also comes with a new mode, a co-op mode. Now this kind of seems a little bit weird, but you can only play with three people. That's kind of just unusual. It's usually usually co-op games like survival games. It always has four players, but I guess they're, they want to just be like Destiny and just bring three players. Now, I've only played the new mode once, and I thought it was boring. I thought this was a poor attempt to try something new. I really didn't like this. This reminded me of so much of, you know, of um, uh, boring campaigns where, Oh, get the object. Alright, go here. Alright, now it's a wave of people coming to you. Alright, go to this another place. Alright, waves of people coming to you. That's, it's, it's the same shit. It's very tedious. It's not fun. And also that boss. Oh my. My god, you you have no idea how long does it take to finally kill him. It takes a long time, depending on what map you are. If you're in an open field, oh, you're gonna kill him easily. But if you're in a small, tight area, then yeah, you're gonna find some difficulties killing him. So, alright, you're saying, alright, so it's boring. 
but is it worth it after playing it? Do you get a lot of renowns or a lot of um, um currency, whatever that's called? I think it's renowned. But do you get a lot of money from it? No, you don't. Not really, actually. It's just 300. Actually, to be honest, I, I really didn't remember. So yeah, playing this mode wasn't really worth it. This mode feels like an actual job. You're there because you want some money. You don't really get much. Um, It's boring. It's tedious. And yeah, you, it's not really that fun. All right, so now the last thing that this operation brings. Uh... The Outbreak Pack. So what the Outbreak Pack brings is exclusive skins. So now the only way to get these packs is buying them with real currency. Why? Like Ubisoft, it would have been worth playing that uh, that awful mode, that wave mode, if you had a chance of getting those operation packs, you know? But nah, the only way to get it is just by buying it with real money. Not, not having fun and playing the game. Yeah. Alright, so the last story, I know I said this was going to be the last thing I want to talk about, but this just came out, and I'm going to make it short. But, a new Tomb Raider is coming. It's called Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and it's going to be coming at fall. Um, not really a big fan of the of the new Tomb Raiders. I've played it, and I thought it, it was just... It's an okay game, but you know, I just stopped playing it because, I don't know, it was just, I just felt bored or something. But, uh, yeah, visually it looks amazing, the game, alright? So, um... Yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, follow me, share, me, Twitch, Twitch, and Twitch, Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.